Hey everybody, it's Russ, and I'm here with the Tracker 4 Metal Detector from Bounty Hunter. Now, I've got some amazing advanced tips and tricks that's really going to make this machine perform to its highest potential. Now, if you haven't seen my other video, make sure you go back and check that video out. I'll put a link right here because I'm working off the premise that you've already watched that video and have an understanding of the operation of this machine. I'm not kidding, it's really important. Go check that out. I've had guys contact me after watching that video saying, hey Russ, I've, wa I've had my Tracker 4 for 10 years and I didn't know some of the things you told me. So go back and watch that video so you fully understand what I'm talking about when it comes to this Tracker 4 advanced tips and tricks. All right, let's get into it. The first advanced technique I'm going to talk about is mode and select for maximum depth and discrimination. There's no doubt about it. Hunting in all metal mode is hands down the deepest mode on this detector or any other detector for that matter. The problem in hunting in this mode is that you end up digging all kinds of unwanted metals like iron, aluminum foil, and what have you. However, the Tracker 4 has an easy solution for this issue. In my previous video, I mentioned I choose to hunt in tone mode, and for the most part, this is true. However, there are times when I'm in an old area or when, for whatever reason, the targets are deeper than normal and I need to squeeze every last inch out of our Tracker 4. And this is how I accomplish that. So for maximum depth, do the following. Run at max sensitivity for the area you're in. This sensitivity setting is dictated by your location, and how to determine this setting is covered in my previous video, but I'll quickly demonstrate it now. Max the sensitivity and slowly dial the sensitivity back until the detector becomes stable. This is your max sensitivity for this particular area. Now, hunt in all metal mode for maximum depth. Set your discrimination at approximately 12 o'clock position. Discrimination will only work when in tone or disc mode, and all metal will override this setting. Now to avoid digging as much trash when we get a target, switch to tone mode by using your mode select toggle. If you get a high tone, dig that deep coin. If the target disappears, this means that it's out of reach and you'll have to investigate further. Advanced target ID through size. Knowing your detector's limit is a must for this to work. Run air tests to determine the limits of your detector on the types of coins you're detecting. In my case, it would be all US coins, so I know that this detector can detect coin size targets at approximately 7 to 8 inches. So if I want to check the probability of a target being a coin size target, all I have to do is raise the coil above 7 or 8 inches. I usually go for about a foot off the ground. Keep in mind that the target is buried, so we can assume the target is anywhere between 1 and 8 inches further away from the coil than the foot we've lifted the coil. If I can still pick that target up after lifting the coil, I know that this isn't a coin size target and is probably an old buried can or pipe and since I'm coin hunting in a modern schoolyard, park or housing area, I'm just going to disregard this oversized target. Now on the other hand, if that target disappears, I'm going to dig it as it falls into the parameters of the types of targets I'm looking for. How to find the exact location of a target. I'm often asked how to determine exactly where the target is under the coil. Now that's a really good question because the Tracker 4 comes with an 8 inch coil which means theoretically the target could be anywhere within that 8 inch area. So this is how you pinpoint that exact location. Now the Tracker 4 does not have a pinpoint mode but it is blessed with a very fast recovery speed. All recovery speed means is how fast the detector can detect and notify us of a target after it has just detected another target. Let me demonstrate this for you. So we can use this ultra fast recovery speed to locate the exact location of buried targets. I call this method Xing the target. Once a buried target is identified by a good tone response, continue sweeping the coil over the target. in a narrowing side to side pattern. Take visual note of this place on the ground where the beep occurs as you move the coil from side to side. Stop the coil directly over this spot on the ground where the beep occurs. Now rotate 90 degrees and swing the coil from the opposite axis. Again, make visual note of the spot on the ground at which the beep occurs. Where these two lines intersect is the exact location of the buried object.
The area of detection, or when you hear the beep, is directly in the center of the inner circle. If you have difficulty pinpointing a very strong signal, try lifting the coil higher off the ground until the signal is not so overpowering. This will weaken the signal, allowing the detector to get a more accurate reading. Locating weak signals. For very weak signals, try moving the coil in short, quick sweeps closer to the ground. The next advanced tip I have is checking depth. You can get a general idea of how deep the target is by lifting the coil higher off the ground and seeing where the target disappears. So again, I know I can expect 7 to 8 inches on a coin sized target. So if I can lift my coil 7 to 8 inches off the ground before I lose the target, I can safely conclude the target is right at the surface or an inch or less deep. Now conversely, if I lose the target after lifting the coil an inch or two, I know that the target is right at the edge of detection, meaning that the target is most likely seven or eight inches deep. This also means that if I can lift the target three inches off the ground before I lose the target, it's safe to say that the target is about three or four inches deep. Frequently asked questions. Here's a couple of questions that I'm always asked about this machine. Number one is how deep can the Tracker 4 detect? This depends on the size of your target, but on a coin sized target, you can get seven to eight inches, give or take, from the Tracker 4. The second question I'm asked is, is the Tracker 4 waterproof? Well, this answer is no and yes. To clarify, the coil is waterproof, but the control box is not. So you can hunt in shallow water, but take care not to submerge the control box, as this will destroy the unit. Another question I'm asked is about batteries. Can you use rechargeable batteries with the Tracker 4? Yes, of course. Any good quality rechargeable 9 volt battery will work with this detector and will not harm it in any way. Just be sure not to use the heavy duty zinc carbon batteries commonly found at dollar stores. The next question I get is about beach hunting. Now we already talked about the unit's waterproof coil and non-waterproof control box. But this question leads more towards can the unit hunt at saltwater beaches? The Tracker 4 can hunt very well in the dry sand at a saltwater beach, but as you may or may not know, saltwater is highly conductive and gives most detectors fits when trying to detect in the wet salty sand. It takes very specialized detectors, which are usually quite expensive to cancel out the effect of saltwater. However, if you absolutely insist on hunting in the wet salty sand, you can do so by reducing the sensitivity setting of the unit. Keep in mind that this lower sensitivity, along with the mineralization of the saltwater, is going to affect your depth. The other question I'm asked is about accessory coils. Are there other coils for this unit? And what coils would I suggest using? Well, the stock 8 inch concentric coil is a great coil for coin hunting most environments. There are, however, several accessory coils available for this unit, but in my opinion, there are only two other coils needed in most hunting situations. The first is a 4 inch concentric coil, commonly referred to as a sniper coil. This coil can be extremely useful when hunting in tight spots as its small footprint can fit in many areas where the stock coil cannot fit into. But perhaps a number one plus of this coil is that it's extremely sensitive on small gold targets. The next coil I would suggest is the 11 inch double D coil. An 11 inch double D coil provides you with superior depth and ability to separate targets. This coil is the coil of choice for most relic hunters, whereas coin hunters tend to stick with the concentric coils. <music>